what is going on youtube back again with another video today in this video we're going to be taking an unboxing and first look at the renmi note 10 pro went ahead and picked this up off amazon for about 310 bucks now this was made by xiaomi i went ahead and got it in the glacier blue color and this is how the packaging looks when you get it from amazon it comes in this plastic bag with the phone there and it also has a european adapter so you can use it here in the u.s now let's go ahead and take this plastic off and while we unbox it here we can go through some of the specs it has a 6.6 7 inch full hd super amoled display screen it has a 120 hertz refresh rate it has a snapdragon 732 g processor this is a 4g phone it weighs about two grams so as you guys can see here, we'll go ahead and take this out. It says before you open this uh, device is not compatible with Boost Mobile Sprint. Yeah, okay. So it's a CDMA, a CDA. It isn't compatible with CDMA network. So if you have Sprint, Verizon, or Boost Mobile, it will not work. But it will work with T-Mobile and AT&T. So that is something to keep in mind. So you get that. And then you also have the European charger brick there. And yeah, I just went ahead and picked this up. I have the OnePlus 7T. I don't have it by me right now. But I mean, that phone is over two years old and it's going through a lot of stuff. It's been through a lot of stuff, I should say. It's cracked right now. So I just went ahead and picked this up as a replacement phone. Been seeing a lot of good things on YouTube about this phone. They say it's a really good mid-range phone. So just thought I would do a quick unboxing on it and a little first impressions video. Why not? You know? So I did go ahead and opt with the 64 gigabyte version with uh, six gigabytes of RAM. Like I said, the Gracer blue one. Uh, let's go ahead and cut into the box here. It has a 108 megapixel camera there. It does run Android 11 with the M with the Xiaomi UI 12.0 skin over it or 12.5 skin over it, which is almost like stock Android, but just with a lot of customization. So unboxing it here. As you guys can see, we go ahead and pull that first tab off. And on the bottom of the box here, it does list some of the stuff that it comes with. If you guys want to take a look there and read that as well. So, you guys can see here, it says, um, designed by Redmi, but this is a Xiaomi phone. So, opening this up, I believe there's a case inside of here and a pre-installed screen protector already. So yeah, I mean, that's one thing about these mid-range phones. You get your books, your user books, your manuals, your user guides, your books, sim ejection tool. Go ahead and put all that off to the side. And then you do have a nice clear case here as well. Nice clear case. Go ahead and throw that off to the side. But yeah, that's a nice thing with these mid-range phones. You're pretty much nice and up to go out the box here's the glacier blue color we'll get back to that in a second but you're pretty much good to go right off the box because you get the usb charging cable which is usb a to usb c most likely and this does support the 65 watt fast charging that's why you got your fast charging brick here it is a little bit bigger but if you do order this phone off amazon they do ship you the adapter so you can just go ahead and plug it into here like so and then you'll be able to charge your phone with the 65 watt included power brick with your phone so let's go ahead and get all this cleaned up and we'll get into right, it so here it is i mean first impressions in the hand it feels just about eh, it's a little bit lighter than the 70 that's going to be the phone i compare it to because that's the one that i have but it has that qualcomm snapdragon 732 oh 33 33 watt fast charging i thought it was 65 the 120 hertz amoled 6.7 inch display 108 megapixel camera and there you guys go there this does have a screen protector pre-installed as you guys can see from the little cutout up there let's go ahead and power her on see if it has any juice there we go power it on there and then on the back get rid of this and we'll just let 
let that sit and do its thing. Let's go ahead and powering on. So on the bottom of the device, you do have the USB charging, the speaker grill, another speaker for when you're on the actual phone. On the side here, you have your aluminum. It is an aluminum finish. So it's plastic on the back, but this is like a matte type of plastic, so it doesn't oppress fingerprints as easy. That's another reason why I went for the Glacier Blue. I mean, as you guys can see here, I'm holding it in the light. You don't really see any fingerprints on it. Um, it has the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on top. The other speaker grill, it is dual firing speakers. It has the IR blaster, the cutout for the, I believe that is a eight megapixel front facing camera. And then the 108 megapixel camera on the back with the cutout. I do like that cutout a lot actually. And then over here is your embedded fingerprint scanner along with the home button, volume rocker. So let's go ahead and get this all started and booted up. All right, guys, here it is all set up. This is how it's going to look the first time you set it up out the box. The first thing that I want to do is go ahead and scroll into settings here. It does seem like it's downloading. Well, PUBG Mobile already comes installed, I guess. That's kind of weird. Uh, it comes with like these games and stuff on here as well. So let's go ahead and go into settings. I want to see by default if the 120 hertz is enabled. It does feel like it is, but... Oh, it's actually 60 hertz. Wow. So let's go ahead and boost that up to 120 hertz. Oh, yeah. And as you guys can see there, all oh, that just feels so smooth. There's really no way to tell it on camera, but that is 120 hertz there, as you guys can clearly see. It is downloading some stuff in the background, so it is going to be a little bit slower than what it usually be. But, I mean, it's 120 hertz. As you guys can see here, you swipe to the left. And you got the Google Now feed, you pull it down, it's almost like this iOS type of vibe where you got the notification drop down and the widgets and how it almost looks like iOS a little bit. And then you swipe it up and you have your settings menu, you can go into your settings here and adjust everything that you want to adjust and update the system and go through wallpapers and battery and performance here. As you guys can see, it's about 25 hours left on the charge. Another thing that I wanted to see here as well is how bright the flashlight is. Well, that's a pretty good bright flashlight, as you guys can tell there. And yeah, I mean, that was pretty much just the unboxing and first impressions on it. Just opening up general apps such as messaging. Like I said, they do take a little bit of, of a while to load up on your first go, but once you get all loaded up in there, we could type. The typing feels really good. The haptic feedbacks on it feel really good. I do like the dimensions on it. Yeah. So all in all, it feels like a really good solid phone. I will be making a review on this phone. If you guys want to stick around for that, go ahead and subscribe. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.